drilling down a little bit, what is an onset? An onset just means the start. It just means the beginning, okay? And if the onset is good, then the training and singing will be good, all right? But if the onset is bad, the training and the singing will be bad. So at TBS and the methodology and the course in the book, we make a big deal about how we start, okay? TBS students and teachers train onsets, okay, because we want to be able to get off to a good start. It's our version of the tennis serve or the baseball pitch, okay? Now, something sort of cool about the onsets is because it's how we start, then that sort of the nature of an onset is that it always starts with phonetics. That means consonants and vowels. Like, for example, even if I just go, uh, and, and that's actually an onset. That's, that's, that's an onset called an attack and release onset. And the attack and release onset, among other things, is characterized by the fact that it starts with vowels. So, a, uh, uh, those are three singing vowels. And I started purely into three singing vowels. So, because I went into a vowel, it has a name. It's called an attack and release onset. Um, another example is we have an onset, probably the first one you'll learn, which is called the track and release onset. And the track and release onset is unique, among other things, because it starts with nasals. You see, in that example, I started with an M and an N. M and N sit in a family, a family of consonants called the nasals, all right? So this is what I mean when, when I am referring to the phonetics and consonants and vowels on this slide. So if we back up, onsets means the start. It's our version of the tennis serve or the baseball pitch or just leaping off the blocks in a track race like this picture shows. That's easy to understand. And if that start is good, then the singing or training in the falls will be good. If the start is bad, then the training and singing in the falls will be bad. And because every start, every onset begins with a vowel or some kind of consonant, then what we begin to understand and learn some of the secret code, if you will, about singing better and fixing problems in your voice is found in the phonetics. You begin to understand that to understand onsets is to understand phonetics. To understand some basic phonetics is to understand the onsets. Now, don't let that freak you out. It's all presented with videos in the course and in the book in a super easy, basic way. All right, this isn't hardcore phonetics class. It's just singing onset. So it's really super ABC kindergarten basic. But you have to know this. You have to know this idea. You have to get in touch with this idea because it is a key to cleaning up your singing problems and getting on track. Now, onsets help you to isolate your motor skills and build strength training. We have certain onsets that that build strength for belting and singing in the head voice, for example. We have certain onsets that help you with your respiration. We have certain onsets that help you with vocal fold closure, all kinds of things. So again, when you learn these eight onsets, you have sort of a bag of tools that you can use to fix your problems quickly. Onsets help you to troubleshoot specific vocal problems. Um, and the lyrics is where technique and art meet. You take your onsets, which all start with phonetics, consonants and vowels, and you're training and knowledge of those onsets, and you sing and you, and, you, and you identify them or map them in your lyrics. Okay, so to understand onsets is to understand the basics, the basics of consonants and vowels and how they influence your singing, how they can help you to sing better, how they can help you to fix certain problems in your voice and to understand the consonants and vowels and what they can do for your training is to means that you're going to sing your songs better because what is the one thing that training onsets 
and understanding the phonetics and your songs have in common, it's the lyrics. It's in the lyrics. It's in the lyrics where you see not only a page of poetry and you know a story that's going on in the lyrics. That's the obvious part. Everybody understands that, and that's important too. But what I think is super cool that I want you guys to learn is that from this day forward, when you look at lyrics, you're not only looking at poetry and the story and the song, but you're looking at a page of onsets. The consonants and the vowels inside the lyrics give you a clue on how to sing those songs better, especially if you've been training these onsets. 30 to 120 minutes each session, three to six days a week for 45 to 60 days. Let's look at this graphic here. It's another way of explaining what I just, just described to you. On the left, we have the eight TVS onsets, so the eight ways that we train to start notes. The track and release onset is characterized by the fact that it starts with nasals. Wind and release is aspirate, or just means windy, okay? so. This is a track and release onset. This is a wind and release onset. Hey, it starts with an H. A dampen and release onset starts with plosives. Those are consonants that explode. Those are all plosives. Therefore, they are dampen and release onsets. Attack and release onsets are vowels. E, O, E. All of those are singing vowels. Therefore, they are attack and release onsets. The quack and release onset is a specialty onset that's designed for building, building the coordination and the strength for vocal fold closure. Some singers don't have the ability to close their vocal folds. They're sort of windy when they sing. They have too much wind in their voice. And this particular onset, this quack and release onset, is a specialized onset that, that, that induces hypercompression. This is the quack and release onset. Okay. Now, it doesn't sound beautiful. I'm not singing. I'm only doing the quack and release onset. You notice how I had a really quacky, hypercompressed in it? That's the piece of the quack and release onset that creates the, the compression and helps singers get their vocal folds to close better. All right? It's a great vocal health, vocal rehabilitation as well. Pulse and release is the vocal cry or the vocal fry onset that elongates the vocal folds, adds medial compression, and helps us get into the habit of singing with cry vocal mode. Um, contract and release is a unique, specialized onset that has its own training workflow that's designed for building the belt voice in the head voice. So if you want to sing big and chesty in the head voice, if you want your head voice notes on top, your high notes to sound chesty and not falsetto this is one of the onsets that will help you to, to build that. It's really super cool. Uh, Messe de Voce is a specialized onset, another onset that has a training workflow sequence to it that's designed to help you build the motor skills of the little muscles inside your larynx. Okay? So if you look over here in the far right, you see how these consonants are starting. They, 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 they're sort of referencing the individual words. Imagine that each of those words are a lyric in your song. So if we have the dampen and release onset, which is any, any lyric that starts with a plosive, and if we go to the right and we see under voiced vibration, we see B for bat, D for dot, G for gap. The B, the D, and the G are all plosives. Therefore, they are all dampen and release onsets. So if you train the dampen and release onsets, you get really good at plosives, which means any lyric that starts with a plosive, you'll sing better. That's the point. Now, here's the same idea of, of how the onsets and the phonetics and the lyrics all come together to make sense. And I really love this graphic. What we have here is we have the last verse of Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. 
when we all are one and one is all, to be a rock and not to roll, okay? As many of you know, that's a very hard piece. Now, what I've done is I've circled certain letters in this lyric, apart from the fact that it's a beautiful lyric, it's beautiful poetry. Notice that certain letters are circled and I've got these little arrows telling you according to the TVS methodology to our onsets, according to our onsets, what kind of onset it is. So for example, at the top left, we have and. And starts with a, a vowel, A. That means it's an attack and release onset. If I train the attack and release onset workouts in this course and in this program, then every time I come across a lyric that starts with a vowel, such as and, I'm gonna sing it better or such as all, I'm gonna sing it better because 30 to 120 minutes, three to six days a week, 45 to 60 days, I've been training these onsets. Here's dampen and release onset. Dampen and release onsets are, are any onset that starts with a group of consonants called plosives. That's why I've circled the T and the B. Those are plosives. The T and Bs are plosives. They're little consonants that pop and explode a little bit. So if I'm, Training the dampen and release onset workouts inside the course and in the book, when I come across any plosives in my lyrics, I'm going to sing those lyrics better. Okay. Um, one more. We'll go over to the right side in the middle where it says track and release. Track and release onsets, among other things, other features and advantages and benefits that are explained in the course. First and foremost, are characterized by the fact that they start with nasals. M, N, and N, G. M, mm, M, mm, and M. Mm. Those are the three nasals in English. Well, this lyric, not, starts with an N. So if I'm training my track and release onsets in the course and in the book, then any lyric I come across that starts with an N, an M, or ends with an N, G, like sing a song, I'm going to do I'm going to do it better. I'm going to sing better. So now you see that by studying the TVS onsets in our methodology, you end up studying and training the phonetics that are going to exist in your lyrics. And this is a huge, huge revelation. It saves so much time in your singing. I mean, is this making sense? Are you guys getting this? Train the TVS onsets, then become an expert at just, just the basics, the basics of certain phonetics that are going to appear in every lyric and every song that you sing. And if you're training those phonetics, you're going to sing those lyrics better, which means you're going to sing better. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's, it's like, I often tell my students that the onsets are sort of like the Rosetta Stone of singing, it's like, it's the, the code, sort of like the code is inside these onsets and understanding these phonetics. And it's not complicated in the program, it's super basic. You're just gonna learn eight onsets, that's it, and practice them, okay?